Hello again, this is Dave, and I'm back with another video series on X3 Terran Conflict by EgoSoft. If you're new to the game or you're looking for tutorials, I recommend you check out my walkthrough video tutorial series. You can find the links on the EgoSoft forums under the stickies and the ultimate resources. If you scroll down to X3TC and look at the complete guides, you'll see the link there. If you have difficulty finding that, just shoot me a message and uh, I'll make sure you have the link. This is a, a really, really it's a let's play for X3TC. Um, I've kind of wanted to do this for a while and it was actually suggested lately. So this gives me an opportunity to try a new game start that I've never tried before. I'm going to try a hard mode, um, Bankrupt Assassin. I'm going to go ahead and start the game now with that starting. You start out with no money. Um, a Mamba fighter ship, basically. No hauler, so you don't uh, have a way of trading immediately. The cargo bay is too small in this, so um, it's certainly a harder start than what you've seen um, with Humble Merchant. So I'm not really sure. I have a couple of ideas. Um, in all honesty, I've always wanted to try this, so I think um, I think it's time to be a pirate. Um, I'm going to try my best to manage relationships with the races so that I can still trade with them, but the bottom line is I think I'm going to steal everything I can get my hands on and see if we can get away with it. I've always wanted to try this, so we'll see how it goes. Um, let me pull up properties real quick. You can see I start with the Mamba. And sorry about that. Let's go ahead and set these audio options up for video capture. So we don't need two voices talking at once. Alright, so I pull up the information on my ship. And you can see that it only has one 25 megajoule shield out of a maximum of two. So I'll have to watch that. Um, it should be okay though. Uh, max speed, max acceleration, not quite max steering, and the cargo is not fully upgraded. Only 84 units. Yeah, you'd, you'd pull your hair out if you try to make money trading. Um, I guess you could if you're really patient. But if you're going to do that anyways, you might as well play Humble Merchant. So um, we're going to go blow stuff up. All right, I have two HEPs in my laser base out of a maximum of eight. So we'll definitely uh, upgrade these right after getting some more shielding once we get some money. Because as you can see, you definitely start off with zero credits on this start. And I'm um, actually an Argon citizen. I was thinking uh, you were a bit of a criminal here. I guess not. I'm looking at the sector map, and the only red I see is Boron. So it looks like I'm uh, not very friendly with the Boron. Let's see what kind of ship he's got here. That's too small to mess with. All right. Uh, I'm eventually going to map out a little bit of the, uh, the universe here, probably three or four sectors, enough to be able to find some missions. I hope to find some combat missions to where I can make some money. Uh, doing what I want to do anyways, but in the meantime um, As I said, I'm gonna try to find a ship or two to steal and if I'm gonna try to steal one a hauler uh, I want a good one something with Some space <laughs> Yeah, okay up to 15,000 cargo units on this OTAS transporter um, OTAS Why not? Let me go ahead and set SATA. I forgot this is a new game, so the options are default again. Set it back to 10. Oh, yeah. Um, let me go ahead and set up my weapons banks here. Add one to bank two so that once I strip the shields down, I can drop to one weapon and uh, not damage the hull so much in hopes of talking them out of their ship. All right. Oh. <laughs> well, that was easy. Uh, let's see if we've ticked anybody off in this sector. No, we haven't. I don't see. The only thing red is the boron food transport. I'll keep an eye on that and see if I've uh, ticked off the locals, but wow, that's a great way to start. <laughs> oh, the life of a pirate for me. Okay. 
I hadn't actually done this much. I did it for the first time for the video tutorial series. I learned how to cap ships for that series. And I've really spent the most of my game time, my personal save game, uh, just developing the economy, building stations, doing trading and stuff. And I've kind of been there, done that. So I really want to try this side of things. And this so far Mistral, seems pretty fun. <laughs> Ship computer control transferred. Yar. All right. Mamba. Okay, well, that's a great way to start. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to sell that ship anytime soon. And um, I would repair it right now, but the only reason I would do that, since I can't sell it yet, there's not a shipyard nearby I have enough relationships with that I can dock and sell it. The only, thing I would, the only reason I'd want to repair it is if I wanted to get in the ship and manually trade with it. And if I was going to do that, you know, it would be uh, the same as doing the Humble Merchant start. So I'm just going to tell this guy to lay low for a while, park him in a station, and uh, get back to him when I need him. That way he'll stay safe. I don't have to worry about it getting shot down. Wow, that's a nice, uh, nice first catch. A little slow, but uh, hey, it's free. All right. Well... Let's see if there's any missions in here yet, if I don't see any. So I'm going to start heading towards one of the gates and uh, map another sector while looking for looking for some missions to pop up or some other opportunities. All right, for those of you... Um, finding this, stumbling on this uh, video um, out of curiosity about the game. Um, I feel kind of bad because this probably isn't the best Let's Play um, as far as an introduction to X3TC. This game is absolutely massive and it's really built on an economic simulator. Um, trading goods, producing goods, ultimately when you have enough money to make your own stations. Um, and starting out simply trading goods from station to station that already exist and making profits on each run and ultimately buying and equipping more and better ships, bigger ships, combat ships also, um, invading sectors. You have multiple um, races in the game, a couple of which are generally hostile to everybody. And um, so there's always something to do. And it's truly just a massive sandbox. You can play through the storyline, which is fairly short compared to, uh, I guess, I, I can't really compare this game to anything, epic role-playing games, you know, um, really that's all I've ever played. Compared to something like that, it's a fairly short story, but I think most people don't really play it for the story, they play it for the sandbox, um, just the ability to develop this empire of yours and continually uh, manage it and, uh, you know, watch it grow, continually get better ships, be able to do bigger things. So... All right, yeah, I haven't been here yet. Um, I now have two sectors on my universe map, which looks so funny uh, after having played this game for so long. But I'm going to go ahead and map a couple of things out in this sector while I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for potential uh, targets. Hmm. Why not? <laughs> yeah, what could go wrong, right? I can't use these things yet, but once I get enough standing, um, I could at least sell them and uh, make a profit. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, this is, uh, I have to admit, a little bit of a atypical example. I usually... Um, in other games that I've played, in late game especially, um, it usually seems that only about one out of every four will actually bail on their ship. So this is uh, this is a really good start here. Yeah, it's fun, anyways. All right, let's get out of the ship, which is the only way you can claim. Wow, uh, claim another ship. Super ship computer control transferred. Mamba. All right, 
And same thing, I could repair him right now because I gave him a bit of hull damage, uh, convincing him to leave. Where's so uh, I'm going to ask this guy to dock until I need him later. That way it'll stay safe. And we're being fired on. All right, got a little bit of a promotion there. It's pretty easy to do at the beginning because you're so your rank is so low. Um, you can actually capture the uh, the pilot that just bailed and uh, <laughs> sell him into slavery, or you could be really mean and just kill him outright. I usually just let him go. Um, I'm sure there's some uh, some benefit down the road to uh, the whole slave thing, but um, yeah, I don't mess with it. All right, uh, let me make sure I actually gave those uh, orders. Yeah, that's kind of a weird place to dock, but that's okay. I can pull them up later. Um, yeah, let's get back to mapping this sector out a little bit. I'm really hoping to find a mission, uh, preferably a... Uh, uh oh, still got somebody ticked off at me. Okay, I guess he's not gonna. <laughs> All right, so when apologizing once doesn't work, try it again. I didn't know that. Okay. So, anyways, I'm hoping to find a uh, a combat-based mission, which is where I'm really trying to focus, and uh, the payoffs are can be really huge. I mean. Um, Capturing ships alone is part of the territory when you're, you know, doing a defend the station mission or an assass well, not really assassination, I guess it's possible, but, or patrol missions, so something to keep in mind. Yeah, I'm not really interested in what this is going to be, I think. Yeah, I don't really like these. Uh, follow. You got to get your timing and spacing just right, and the payout kind of stinks. Um, I'm going to hold out for uh, uh, for something involving fighting. So again, um, especially starting out in this game, it's very slow going. Uh, you got to start mapping out the sector, which uh, mapping out the universe, which takes a very long time. You got to develop uh, relationships with the various races, which takes a long time. And then uh, you know, build up enough uh, enough finances to to be able to afford you know the better ships, better weapons, and eventually building your own stations for profit and that kind of thing. All right, I'm breaking my own rules here. Kind of look around and see what I'm missing. I can be mapped. Ah another solar power station down there. We can map real quick while we're looking. And there's another one. These will come in handy if I do decide to do some trading. Um, Again, I'm going to try to avoid that, though. I really want to. Uh, I really want to mix this game up a bit with the whole um, the whole pirate and uh, fighting theme. This would be a nice second save game, and I think a lot of people do this. They have multiple save games that they play, and it's almost like three different games. My first one is very ah. Here we go. Here's a, my first game is very much a trading game, and. Uh, it plays differently, I think, than what this one will play like when I am uh, focused solely on combat and uh, especially with pirating. I'm going to end up having very bad race relations with at least one race, which is going to 
make things very interesting. You can't get through certain parts of the map without having to fight. And uh, that just sounds fun. Okay, well, I hope that mission will still be there by the time I get there, but I don't think this guy's going to leave me alone, so I'm going to go ahead and be proactive here. It's just a little ship. It should go down pretty easily. Okay, let's see what he's got. Alright, assassination mission, mission, and it's very easy. Yeah, let's give it a try. Um, it's a good way to start building up some rep. I hope it's not like 10 sectors away because... Oh good. Hatikva's Faith. I believe that's only one or two jumps away. And the mission um, assistance highlights the gates and gives you arrows. Kind of makes it dummy proof. Where am I going here? Okay. So again, back to traveling. A little bit of downtime here. I'm just curious. Argon, energy transporter. Nah, <laughs> too small to worry about. Like I was saying, the uh, the different styles of play, um, as far as how you approach this game, really makes it feel like different games. And my uh, my principal game that I use in the tutorial series. It's heavily um, economically focused. Uh, I've got a big trading empire with a lot of uh, automatic traders, um, universal traders running all over the universe making trades for me, making lots of money. I have several station complex producing and selling products, uh, making millions, and it's, it's definitely fun. But I've always wanted to try this where... You're just uh, kicking butt and taking names and not worried about uh, running a business. Okay, I'm not sure about this play. Oh, wow, he's right on top of me. Unfortunately, uh, these initial targets are really easy. Uh, the more people you take off, the bigger ships you have coming after you. And for those of you still picking up the game fairly new, um, every time you do that, I'm in Argon space and I just killed a pirate. You heard the guy say on behalf of the Argon Federation, we thank you. That means your uh, relationship with the Argons just went up. So if I check mine, my antagonist has uh, increased up to 50% um, of the way to the next promotion. Which, uh, on my way here, I'll have to actually look at the book. Um... Argon known antagonist, the next one is suspected foe. So I have two more promotions before I'll become a citizen again, and uh, they'll leave me alone. And hopefully I can start doing some... Well, let's check the missions real quick. You never know. I usually don't mess with these. I'm out of range anyways. I usually don't mess with... Uh, these types of missions, but you never know. You can always check it and then turn it down. Alright, that's transporting people. I don't have the, uh, the ship for that, so... Let's get on with the mission. Which I forgot. Oh yeah. We're hunting this guy down. So there's multiple kinds of missions you can get in Terran Conflict, and literally multiple. 
and they're all divided into different categories. You have combat missions, you have, uh, stick. oh, this isn't a good place to be. Yeah, his sound just got messed up, but I guarantee he was saying, hey, you're not welcome here, leave now, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I've got to get through here to finish this mission, so I'm going to try to make a run for it. I've got a fairly fast ship. Uh, here's hoping. It would kind of suck to die now. Yeah, well, that sucks. Yeah, and ships can also offer missions, as you can see right here. This guy's offering a combat mission. It's probably something along the lines of, yeah, so-and-so's threatening me, I need you to, to protect me, or escort me to such-and-such such sector, and they usually pay. And the bigger the ship and the higher your rep, uh, the better paying missions you can get. Much better paying. All right, we might, uh, knock on wood, make it through here. Of course, I'm not really familiar. I think I think this next sector is a pirate sector anyway, so maybe there won't be so many Argon around. Then again. Now most missions have a time limit and I just realized, yeah, I'm down to 12 minutes. Um, later in the game you'll have a jump drive and you can jump uh, very, very far, uh, long distances at once. And something like this is no big deal, but having to fly uh, sector by sector to get somewhere, you can actually run your time out pretty quick. I was really thinking this would be a little closer than that, especially as an easy level mission. But, uh. Yeah, sorry for the constant pegging of SATA. I'm just impatient, and every time you give uh, control input, it cancels SATA, so I keep running it uh, just to get there quicker. Alright, I'll try my hand at this mission. I'm just going to tick everybody off today. Down to seven minutes. <laughs> They're so polite before they kill you. Okay, well, totally failed there. Didn't have enough time to get there. So, uh, give one second here. I'm going to check a map. Yeah, it's all going to be core sectors for a while, so I'm just going to go... Navigation, autopilot. autopilot and fly back towards my uh, starting sectors. Well, you know, I could try to cap some ships while I'm out here, but then I would have to haul them two or three sectors through hostile territory, and they would just shoot them down anyways, and plus capturing the ships kind of lowers your, your rep a bit, so... At least I think it does. So I'm not going to mess with it until I...
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not welcome here. And yeah, get used to that if you're going to be a... Uh, 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 if you're going to play the pirate role. Jeez, old man. That's a lot of missiles. Got the techno voice going on here. And, uh... I'm curious if I'm actually going to make it <laughs> back. Obviously, the beeps are kind of like sonar. The faster they beep, uh, the closer the object is to you. In this case, a missile. Sometimes you can dodge them. You can actually do some spinning and strafing at the same time. And actually dodge um, some of the fire coming in. Especially direct fire, but even the missiles, it seems to me like I've had some luck with that. But not always. The more maneuverable and faster your ship is, the better chances you have. And then, of course, as soon as I have some money, um, I plan on uh, upgrading the ship. And I don't think, I'm not even sure this one has turrets. Tornado missile self-destructed. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Light of heart. All right, buddy. Argon. Military discoverer Vanguard. You asked for it. You are gone. Military Buster Sentinel. closing. If I had some turrets and uh, some heps or uh, mosquito missiles or something to put. Uh, to arm them with, I could set them to missile defense and actually stand a chance of shooting those missiles down before they uh, wreak havoc on my shields. Yeah, these guys just aren't going to let me out of here. Argon, military discoverer, Vanguard. Sorry, buddy. Firelands missile. All right, well. Try to set up a little bit here. <laughs> Entering system, light of heart. All right, one more to go, and then I'll probably uh, save my place. It'll be a good place to uh, pause the video here so it doesn't get uh, to be too lengthy for YouTube. And uh, I'll try my luck at finding some more uh, doable missions to make some money with. Worst case scenario, I'll just start hunting down pirates in um, Oregon and Talati space to increase my standing with them. until I can uh, get better missions and uh, trade with them. Ouch. <laughs> oh, we need to be going north here. Argon, police, buster. I wonder how much of a hit I've taken so far. Yeah, I've gone down over 10% standings with Aragon. So uh, that little bit of uh, fighting hurt a little bit. So it's going to take take a while to make up for that. But I'll still give it a go. I think uh, taking down a lot of pirates will get me in good enough standings to run missions for them. And the missions will really skyrocket your standing. 
entering system, Aladna Hill. High energy plasma docking granted. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dock and save my game. Ah, I hope. <laughs> Who's after me? Yeah, I've got a price on my head. That's a good thing. Guys are quick. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Free Argon Trading Station. Firelands missile self destructive. Yeah, I can't wait to upgrade the ship. Between my current gear and then my skill. These little guys are just a little bit too fast for me right now. Uh, Drama King. Transporter. High energy plasma Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try to dock. Yeah, it looks like I'll get through. And there's a kill mission, but I've just ticked off the whole sector, it looks like. A bunch of pirates. That's good, though. Alright, well, that wasn't cool. Try to do too many things at one time and uh, accidentally canceled the, uh, the autopilot. And the way it's managed in this game, it's pretty brute force. You have to go to the end um, of basically what amounts to a driveway for the station for autopilot to take you in. So note to self, don't you know bump the controls while you're docking. All right, I'm going to save this game and uh, give it a break, pause the video, and uh, when I come back, hopefully um, it'll be a little bit more eventful. We'll see you next time.